Hello all, welcome to uh, Diary of a Disabled. Uh, oh man, Aaron chore day. So I had Roomba vacuuming my vacuum almost all afternoon. Um, wash both dog beds, the one for the car, one for the bedroom. Washed some of my bedding so far. Uh, waiting on that load to switch over for some more bedding. And then I'm also trying to pack for EDC. Figured out with which jewels, and so this is my uh, my madness here. So each bag has an outfit. Like this is a bodysuit. This is the uh, this has candy picked out for it. This is that uh, silver skirt with uh, eyeballs and like you know black and you know, shirt. And then this is uh, my black and white zebra z cat cut out cat suit. Um, a green outfit with some pineapple sunglasses added. The goggles added with that candy I made last night for that other bodysuit. Some people like to say it looks like a superhero. Then I got my uh, my, my sexy cowgirl hat outfit. There's the hat, and then there's the rest of it with the bodysuit in there. Uh, there's my no drama llama necklace candy mixed in with the, that bright bikini and dress outfit. Here's that gummy bear outfit in this one with a sunflower sunglasses. Here's my pink booty shorts and camouflage dress outfit. Here's my gold in the dark mysterious long dress outfit. And then I got my pashmina underneath that I'm still trying to uh, glue together. Then I got all the stuff that I pulled out of my car because I'm detailing it so. This is part of my uh, case that I always have in my car. This, this, extra thing of oil, some wipes, extra water bottle. Uh, then I have my jack that I don't know how to get back down because I've used it once and I think it's no good anymore. This I can now put back into storage. That's over my uh, laundry hamper or whatever. <laughs> I can't use it in my room, it's too big. My uh, small camp chair, reversible blanket, uh, also OSU from where I graduated college, a couple uh, grocery bags. Here's my car de detailing kit. Here's my subwoofer I pulled out because just power washed the uh, mats. I got some of the windows washed out of the FJ. I got the uh, some of this wiped down. Got some of that vacuumed out, but I still need to do all that cleaning. And then also I still need to get all this nasty grime scrubbed off. And there's still some of this crap on the roof. That's nasty. And it it's going to take some more distilled white vinegar. As you can see, I did the window there. Okay, then there's all the pollen over this window and this window. But I did these windows. <laughs> I did the mirror. And then, uh... I did all the interior. I mean, I did all that last last month, basically all that cleanup. But as you can see, there's no grime on the inside of this white as compared to the other side because I scrubbed all this off on the passenger side. And there's like no dirt really any, anywhere, any, nothing except for on the inside here, which I still have to clean. That's going to be another day probably. See, I still have no more glove box in there right now. Uh, I just want to keep detailing. I just haven't gotten into the center cleaning yet. Uh, I got fingerprints all over that. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's my little vacuum. I've been trying to vacuum out a little bit more. Um, but I finally took all the stuff out of the back. Just, and you can see how nice and clean that rubber mat keeps the back of the FJ. I mean, it is amazingly clean underneath that. So I don't have much work to do back here. You can see all the scratches. I've hauled a lot of things on the back of the FJ, but this is all nice and, yeah, yeah. It's just, this is all banged up, everything. You know, I got scratches everywhere. You, I take, I haul all kinds of things in my vehicle. <laughs> and uh, there's my uh, hookup for my 10 inch. Speaker. 
But I want to do a little bit more vacuuming and uh, detail work around the window. Uh, make sure all the seals are decent. Um, you know, and then finish cleaning the roof up here. <sighs> it's got some grime. It's got some build up. I need to get all that cleaned up. And it's going to take me getting on the roof and uh, getting, getting that scrubbed. But I can only do so much in one day. <laughs> So I got that project going on. I got all the stuff out of my vehicle because I'm detailing it. Yeah. I've, I'm always supposed to, you know, I'm going to go over this kit. I also need my first aid kit out of the other side. Oh, where is my first aid kit? I'm going to have to find that. So I, I should probably just buy a new one anyways. So I've been uh, doing washing, vacuuming, moving things around my room. I'm trying to also get package up like my pickles to my friends to sell it, send out. Those don't always stay in my car. I just have all this other boxes and shipping material that I've uh, I grabbed from my storage unit to try and get these packages and the post office ones sent out because they're cheaper that way. I just can't pack as many pickles in them and I'm still waiting to hear back from my claim. What they decided because of them breaking all those pickles. I'm still upset about that. Uh, so anyways. That is uh, what is up. I've been uh, needing to take a little sit down break. So I'm going to do that with you guys for here for a minute. Let's sit that up. Um, I found and came across my, uh, my ship's uh, lighter. The USS Villa Golf. Got a zippo from it. Of course, I haven't got any fluid in it at the moment. The flint might be need to face too. And then I came across a few of my challenge coins. <laughs> this is from a 2014 OSU. Uh, my college handed them out at some of the football games, so that was pretty badass. This was a. Uh, uh, I don't know, I think the year before at one of the football games, like I happened to attend. Uh, so another challenge coin from OSU for the vets. And this is one from the military itself, my favorite one, saluting those who proudly served. It was from Budweiser, Operation Iraqi Freedom, <laughs> uh, Letting Freedom Ring. Marines, Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard, U.S. Allies, Army. Like, I, I got this when I was over in my uh, deployment. One of my deployments to the Persian, Persian Gulf. Uh, only so many of these got handed out. And our ship was uh, one of the lucky ships that we uh, we were kicking butt. So, we got this challenge going during op Operation Iraqi Freedom. Catching oil smuggle smugglers in the Persian Gulf. And then, uh, I don't have my ribbon rack, uh, in this bunch of stuff, but I, I got some of my, my stuff I when I was pretty awesome second class on the ship. Uh, I got my coveralls. I have my ESWAS pin. And, uh, you know, the Navy. Woo-woo. Still use some micro rolls today for painting and uh, any other kind of like caulking or like housework or something. Try and help my parents out because they do a lot of do, do it yourself stuff to save money. And yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do any of that stuff. Like I just don't have the energy. Like I'm already getting inflamed and stuff from doing all the stuff I've done today. I need to take a break. I'm about to uh, get on the game with my buddy and play some zombies for a little bit while uh, those mats dry and then uh, hopefully I can get some more detail later today but I really do need to take Storm to the park. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. I just don't have enough spoons for it all. I, I like Maybe if I took a nap or something I would be able to. But I have to get everything off my bed now because I just vacuumed everything on my floor. So 
need to get Roomba out of there. I need to finish these suitcases and close them up so I can uh, uh, get that glued down and set, you know, I'm probably going to do that later this evening. Like while I'm eating dinner or something or right, right before I eat dinner or after I eat dinner, I'll uh, probably do the glue thing on the Kashmina. This stuff's just going to have to sit out for another day. I, I really have been trying to get this, the FJ detailed for over a month and I just really need to get it done. It's, uh, it's ridiculous how long it's taken me to get it done. Uh, this is where it gets frustrating being, being disabled. You know, I want to take better via better care of my vehicle and like have it clean regularly. And I used to pay for that and I just can't afford that right now. And so I'm killing myself with my freaking dis disabled body and doing too much and ta not taking enough breaks. I'm gonna pay for it but I'm gonna get so much accomplished and it's gonna help my mental state feel so much better having these things done and it's great that I have so many things I can switch between because it gives me a break from the repetitive task of doing one thing more than the other uh, you know, wiping something down versus like just sorting versus uh, like lifting or just moving things versus uh, getting dressed even. Like just getting dressed is so hard. <laughs> but I got dressed today. Like pretty darn awesome. So uh, I accomplished getting dressed. I accomplished uh, dishes for my parents. I uh, unloaded the dishwasher again and then I loaded up the very few dishes that was uh, left over from this morning. I think it's about break time. I'm going to put the Roomba away, take everything off my bed. I'm going to relax and have a little afternoon snack, play some video games, rest up my back a little bit on the heating pad, whatever I may need, or ice. Um, Take another pain medication and just, uh, you know, I'll plug away at more some of this later this afternoon after I uh, give my body some time to uh, not get too over fatigued like I did to myself yesterday. I just went and went and went and gone and gone and gone and just didn't rest up until I did take a like, two hour nap. But then I wasted like half the day. It wasn't as productive. So. I have to pace myself. I'm still learning how as a disabled chick. <laughs> still learning how. Uh, my upper back is like on fire right now. The fibromyalgia neuropathy pain. Like, uh, it's, it's from like here, like here to here all the way out to here like all of that hurts and so i think i'm going to rub some of my uh cbd stuff on one sec i don't even remember what i went in there for <laughs> and if i stop this video i'm not editing it so i'm not going to rewind to go look and see what it is that i went in there to go get um I did go take my, my uh, pain medication, so there is that. I got my mats out of the sun, so they're not getting some more sun damaged. Um, I unplugged the cord, brought the extension cord in, so now I can close up the garage. Because I'm done working out there. There's no way I'm going to work during the hot, hotter part of the day. I don't even know how it is. 2.13. Wow. I don't know where the time went. I uh, had the time went to uh, a lot of moving things around and uh, yeah. Oh, I was going to go get that freaking topical stuff. That's what it was. Now I remember. Oh uh, yeah, I need to go put that on. I got totally sidetracked because I had to swap out laundry. Then I had to pull back all the, the sheets from my bed. Um, uh, oh 
gosh, hopefully this gives some relief. I try all kinds of ointments and patches and just the only thing that helps is uh, not overdoing it. And Well, I, I can't help that. I mean, I can't help that. I just, uh, I just want to do so much. My brain is like, I'm 25 still. And my body is like, no, bitch, you're like 60, 80 on the inside falling apart. <laughs> uh, uh, I know how to massage, but it's not good that I hyperextend my joints so much to try and get lotion on my back and neck. Uh, there's those zip ties. I was wondering where those zip ties were yesterday. I could have used those, and I didn't really want to interrupt my dad watching TV and with my mom last night. Uh... Oh, man. My neck and my whole right side. I woke up to my whole right side being locked up uh, and in spasm. Uh, I even remember waking up in the middle of the night uh, having some numbness and stuff going from my elbows because I slept too, much, too close like this. Cutting off too much of the nerve supply in too many places. So, it is what it is. Oh, the thoracic. Oh, I, th I think my first rib might be out. I don't know. Oh, my bulges. Ow. Oh, the crepitation in the neck. I make a great massage therapist, but I, uh, I only have so much endurance. I don't have spoons to do full bodies anymore. I used to give my friends full body massages all the time professionally, not in the middle areas. Um, I'm not that kind of person. I keep it professional <laughs> because I know how beneficial massage can be. Oh, I'm still trying to rub some of this in. It hurts so much. I waited too long to take my pain med. I just, I get so focused. And, you know, I take my ADHD meds and it helps me stay focused on a task. And even though I am still scattered on my three or four tasks, I am still focused on one and accomplishing one. Uh, I'm getting further in the others. Uh, I don't know how much more I'm going to be able to get done today. It's like I have to spread out and then like I pull everything back in at the end. Uh, but I've been at it like non-stop today, um, I've been up since like 7, so I need to have my mom rub more of this stuff on me. I'm hurting so much more. I overdid it. <laughs> I just, I, there's so much I need to do. So much I want to get done. My body is just not cooperating. <sighs> I'm looking at the positives though. I got all my mats power washed. I got uh, uh, just that much more organized. I'm going to just shut these two cases up though. And I'm going to make progress on getting this thing glued down. Or at least sprayed or something. And set up. Because that's a waiting game. So the sooner I get that done, the better I can just wait on that. And then, uh, yeah, I can get to this other stuff later. Uh, it's not a necessity. I need to get stuff off of my Pashima so I can finish gluing that down. But I really wanted to start, I really wanted to get all my jewels organized and like put in each separate outfit bag. Not gonna work today. I don't have time with my pain and my yeah, I need to go eat some brunch and relax and get my body horizontal and not vertical. These muscles need a, a break, so hence my Tiger Balm is the only stuff I think that helps. I don't think any other CBG products has ever helped me. Uh, I've tried, um, but yeah. I'm 
trying everything I can to help myself feel better so I can keep going. The only per person that's pushing me to do this is me and I just want to get the stuff over with. I don't like having so many things that I'm procrastinating on. There's like five or six things I've just like been wanting to do for so long and I just haven't done any of them. And so I tend to just uh, overcompensate and start them all at the same time and then be like, oh, okay, I'm a little overwhelmed. I can't do it all. Uh, yeah. We'll see where I get today. Peace out, y'all. Keep smiling. Never give up. No matter how bad it gets. There's always something. So there's always something that'll uh, get in the way or, you know, feel like it sets you back or whatever. But just keep moving forward. Never give up. That's what life is all about. Keep trying. Learning new things. Learning what does and doesn't work. It's just trying to stay positive. Think of the good things. Like, I've already accomplished so much today. Like, I'm amazed that I got all of that done with, like, especially the dishes. Like, on a normal day, painting flare day, I wouldn't have even done that. I would have just focused on myself. I would have just focused on leaving the house and getting my appointments done. Weekends are really the days that I have to try and catch up on everything. Because during the week, it's just too busy with doctor appointments and then energy levels and pain levels and all the sitting and stuff I have to do um, and then I willingly do all this stuff on my off time on the weekends to uh, make myself in pain again but I feel so much more accomplished and I feel happy that I got some stuff accomplished uh, I got dressed for the day I haven't quite gotten the shower yet I'm going to try it I, you know I still got to give somebody a bath I don't know how I'm going to get all that done you know, we'll, we'll have to reevaluate after I eat and stuff and play my game and see what I have the energy for in the spoons. I mean, at least I have everything else cleaned. Like, I may have to have my mom help me or something. I don't know. Like, I don't know if she'll be able to or my dad. Uh, or I'll have to, like, try and shower with her or something. Like, I, I don't know. I just, I just know that I'm going to have very, I'm very limited spoons and I don't, I think I have an appointment tomorrow, so I will have tomorrow to rest up in bed to recover from today's abundance of chores, of things I'm getting done, uh, like trying to get this thing glued, get everything packed up in their suitcases as they need to be packed up. I'm going to have to pack and repack these things like probably 20 times, um, just because I can't do it all at once. I don't have all the items here. There's still items I'm missing for each outfit. So I'm just waiting for those to arrive in the mail. So I, I really can't even finish this project, even if I started it today. So I'm just going to push everything all into one again and just set them off to the side and, you know, really kind of focus on getting my, my uh, FJ detailed. That way I can get this trailer home so I can get that, uh, you know, situated for the trip. You know, because it's, it's coming up fast. It's uh, time's times a ticking. And this month is almost over with and May's upon us. And whew, I only got like a week or so, you know, a week and a half in May to really get everything ready to go. So uh, I got to get things done. Breaking my back here, getting it done. <laughs> I know I just have a foot. In the meantime, I'm getting the MRIs and stuff, trying to work up for surgery. And I'm trying to get all this medication stuff figured out. Uh, the right balance of each medication per day. And then I'm trying to craft and I'm trying to like have a social life. Uh, I have a video call with one or two to sometimes three people a day sometimes. Uh, along with video posting my videos. Uh, some days I'm just social as F and I just need to talk. And other days I need to get things done. And other days I just need to rest. Uh, I just have to reevaluate many times throughout the day. One one day at a time, one hour at a time, one six block of hours at a time, whatever it takes. Just keep going. Keep moving forward. Because it's not worth heading backwards. You know. Uh, things happen though. I mean setbacks happen, so 
just take those in stride keep going keep smiling and uh, we, are, we all got something we're struggling with <laughs> my chronic pain is just knocking me out right now and my chronic fatigue and my fibromyalgia it's a combination of all three of those symptoms and neuropathy and uh, it's affecting my breathing uh, I can't take a good deep breath until I get on the foam roller with some heat and then I can do some meditative like lay on the foam roller stand up vertical lay on the foam roller stand up vertical like this is going to take like a good hour of my time just to try and uh, get this pain to subside because the medication itself isn't going to do it. I have to do physical things to help reverse what I've been doing all day, which is hunching forward and leaning forward. So I have to do the reverse and use gravity as my tool. And that's how I use it with my foam roller as a tool. Gravity helps uh, as much as it's a hindrance while I'm vertical. When I'm horizontal, gravity I use as my friend. And, uh, you yeah. know. Yeah, I, I do a little bit here that here and there exercises that I can to try and help my tone. It's not enough, but it's something, so it's better than nothing. So I'm gonna keep on going forward and uh, I'm gonna keep fighting. I'm gonna keep living and I'm gonna reach that goal of a hundred. Hope you all do too. Peace out and uh, have a good one.